we have the same formula again that we want to solve for x. x squared uh, minus 3x minus 10. In this case, however, instead of completing the square algebraically or graphically, we want to solve it using the quadratic formula. So if this is equal to 0, as we've said, we want to solve for this using the quadratic formula. It's just a formula that's given. We know that x then is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of we have b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Great. We're just going to plug in our numbers here and see what we get. What do we get? Well, we have ax squared minus plus bx plus c equals 0. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 3, and c is equal to negative 10. We want to plug these three values in here, and we're going to get two answers because of this plus or minus in the square root. So let's plug that in and see what we get. Negative b. b is negative 3, so negative is negative and positive 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Minus 4a, which is 1, and c, which is negative 10. Great. Don't forget you're all over 2 times a, which is just 1. Excellent. Just numbers, just a little arithmetic, and we'll get two answers out. All right, let's start simplifying. We have x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of, now what do we have under here? We had 4 times 1 is just 4. 4 times negative 10 is negative 40. And then we have two negatives, so that comes out to be positive. So 9 plus 40 all over 2. So 2 times 1 is just 2. So a little bit further to simplify underneath the square root x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 40 plus 9 is 49 over 2. And finally, we can take the square root of 49. The square root of 49 is 7. So 3 plus or minus 7 all over 2. So this gives us 3 plus 7, which is 10, and 3 minus 7, which is uh, negative 4. So we're going to have two answers. x1 equals 10 over 2, which is just 5, and x2, which is negative 4 over 2, which is just negative 2. So here's our final two answers. Don't forget we have got two answers. It doesn't matter which one you call 1 and 2, but I like to distinguish between the fact that these are different values of x. So we have two answers using the quadratic formula, same as we got before using the completing the square method.